So somebody gave me a video topic suggestion. Um, shout out River of Ray. I'll put the question somewhere in the, on the screen. Uh, she wants to know about, or he, he or she, I don't know. Um, <coughs> uh, they want to know about uh, the the concept of getting blood on your hands. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the esoteric meaning behind getting blood on your hands. Now, um, if you Google this shit, they'll give you the 3D example of, of what getting blood on your hands means. And that is pretty much just killing somebody. When you've killed somebody, you now have the guilt to bear or you have to ha deal with having blood on your hands. Um, I know in politics too, they say that a lot. Um, it's, a, it's a reference or phrase that's used a lot to describe like war hawks and shit um in politics but we're going to talk about the spiritual esoteric meaning behind it and really the esoteric spiritual meaning um it kind of has to deal it's almost the same but it's different because the shit i just said that it deals with like physical killing killing but the esoteric meaning behind getting blood on your hands is like it's not killing in the physical, but it's like killing in the spiritual, like killing somebody's potential to develop their own thoughts and feelings and their own spirit, you feel me? That's really what it means esoterically. So the esoteric meaning behind getting blood on your hands is when you interfere or interrupt another spirit's path in a way that stagnates or limits their growth and awareness. So that could be so whenever you don't let a spirit, whenever you don't give a, a spirit enough space to be their own individual self and spirit and to give them their own space to learn from life directly in their own spirit by themselves. If you don't give enough space for that um, and you try to influence them too much or you try to indoctrinate them too much according to what you think and feel and how you feel as an individual spirit. Um, if you overstep those energies and you and you influence and interfere and interrupt too much, um, you could get blood on your hands without even knowing it. See, um, that's kind of why I appreciate my mom because even though she was like, she's not really religious anymore, but when I was when I was a kid growing up, you know, we would go to church and shit. Uh, and I'm, I was just when I would ask her certain questions and shit, I was just glad that she didn't, you know, try to. Cause she didn't really know much about it anyway, but I'm glad she gave me space to, to, uh, let me develop my own mind and awareness because whenever I would ask her certain things, she would just be like, I don't know. Or, um, or she wouldn't, she wouldn't really pressure me. You know what I'm saying? Like if I had some other more lost indoctrinated religious parents, they probably would have brainwashed me more. But my mom like gave me space to like really develop my own mind and she was honest and she would say i don't know to a lot of things so saying i don't know to some oh yeah that's one of my points one of the best and easiest ways to not get blood on your hands is to not assume or speak on anything that you do not fully know see this is something that wise spirits do we're not going to speak on something that we fully don't know like we're experts now now if you know that's a different story um, but since my mom was still trying to find herself spiritually or whatever at the time she was doing it, whether it was through religion or not, um, she, she didn't let that, she didn't let her lack of awareness leak into my child mind, um, and accidentally get blood on her hands by leading me astray on something that she didn't even fully know about. You feel me? So that's one thing I do appreciate about that. Um, but yeah, but here's the thing though, just being human in this reality, we all automatically have blood on our hands to a certain degree. However, the more spiritually aware you become, the more responsible you are to limit getting blood on your hands or to limit not getting blood on your hands, whatever the fuck, however the fuck you say it. So pretty much the more spiritually aware you become, you gain more of a responsibility to not accidentally get blood on your hands or to spread it because a lot of people do it by accident it's not on purpose like now if somebody is out here spreading misinformation on purpose like and they're getting blood on their hands like that intentionally then oh, they ain't really ain't shit that spirit is a fucking demon and that's like the shadow government and shit they have the most blood on their hands in this world but we'll get to that later but yeah the more um aware and, and, and the more spiritually aware you become, 
the more responsible you are to keep your hands clean. So the reason why certain spiritual spirits talk the way they talk in a very broad, vague, vague way sometimes without too much details on anything is because they are avoiding getting blood on their hands when they're trying to teach and open up other spirits minds and awarenesses because that's the that's how you do it you got to teach other spirits to learn you got to teach other spirits to learn how so they can learn wait you got to teach other spirits how to teach and learn for themselves or you got to teach other spirits how to learn for themselves type shit so the, mo so the moment you get, yeah, you got to teach other spirits how to learn for themselves so they could teach themselves and then teach others how to teach themselves to learn from themselves. Each one teach one type shit. You don't want to get too specific to the point about about things like a religious person and accidentally in indoctrinate people into shit that is way more complex than what you limit yourself to think and believe, aka the religious person. Um, so it's really... Um, those who promote the limited lost ways of this world have the most blood on their hands so i don't care if you promote over promoting religion over promoting politics over promoting um um, um science and atheism or over promoting any man-made fucking human concept you know, the moment you over promote a certain term or definition or word or or whatever the fuck that we created as spirits whenever you promote any of these things way too much you by default are getting a certain amount of blood on your hands now the interactions vary and depend on 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 each spirit you feel me so like i could all right so for example it really depends on the interactions and and it depends on both spirits because like see what's all uh, was was understood what's what's that quote oh yeah what's already understood don't need to be said right and since we as humans create words to point to certain things that that um we're trying to get across to others that we feel internally um that's exactly what it is it don't go no further than that you can't give a word a certain word or a certain term or definition too much power because at that moment you get indoctrinated into that energy and you don't know that that word is just being used to point to a certain energy but that energy ain't really that word for example um the 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 the, the, the jewish concept of what all possibilities is hence why i don't like using this word god because now see that that word though got a lot of baggage the word god it got a lot of baggage because it got they dirtied it they muddied it up and they and they made it impure with all these extra um um fucking indoctrinations and, and extra limited man-made things that that now the concept is muddy now that word is dirty so you got to be careful when you use that word because people aren't going to know if you're talking about the esoteric meaning behind that word god or if you're talking about some indoctrinated lost ass version of that word god aka like a fucking uh de denomina denomination of some somebody else's interpretation of somebody else's interpretation of some fucking jew's mind from two thousand years ago and it's whoo don't even get me started on all that shit we can do a, that's a whole nother fucking topic or i'm gonna leave that to flight boss and dola to continue destroying and killing those fucking spirits but that this video is not really about that but you get the point the point is true spirituality is when you allow other spirits to develop their own individual way in seeing life and their own spirit so the moment y'all try to muddy it up too much and put and throw too much uh subjective man-made created dogmatic um um just all this extra layering of shit that makes shit more complicated than what it really is and 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 makes it harder to understand too for example um you look at all these holy books and a lot of it is allegory but we as humans have developed such a good enough language at this point in time that we can describe shit more accurately without having to use allegory see back then in earlier times in humanity they had to use allegory because humans were dumber back then so humans back then could understand shit better through symbols pictures hieroglyphics uh fucking um whatever the fuck we were using to, to point to certain energies and then we made language and words and shit but since we have since we have the english language which is 
advanced enough to describe shit more accurately we don't have to rely on fucking allegories and shit like that anymore we could just say shit for what it is in the most clearest ways we possibly can and even this language is bastardized and limits us but that's why i said you can't give any one word or definition or mentality too much power so the more spiritually aware you become of these things you have to be careful with with the way you sit, explain shit, the words you choose to use, because you have to be aware that everybody might intake in, info differently due to their subjective biased way of looking at life, whether it's through a more enlightened esoteric way or if it's through a more um, indoctrinate, indoctrinated exoteric way. Exoteric just being the opposite of esoteric. Esoteric being the shit that we describe and we know it's beyond human words and an exoteric is the opposite it it, it it inverts that energy and makes it so that people get lost in the words you feel me and then they never learn the esoteric meaning behind things um and what these religions are really trying to tell people but people misinterpret shit that's why you have denominations that's why you have disagreements that's why you have a whole bunch of fucking demons just going against each other not even fucking knowing it until a fucking angel got to come through and, and whoop everybody's ass, spank everybody's ass and let them know what the fuck they getting lost into. So let me see. All right. Let me see what else we have here. Um, and an angel ain't nothing but a, a big, a, a big spirit with a big enough awareness. I shouldn't even said that word. See, I almost got blood on my hands without saying that. I don't mean no, no. Y'all already know. Watch my other videos. But. I don't mean angel in the way that these religious people talk about it. That's not what it is. That's not what it is. That's a whole other thing. Um, it's just a spirit with a big enough awareness. That's that's all that is. A big enough awareness and they have their own unique angle or perspective of looking at things. So they could take the English language, the human language, and create their own way of expressing all possibilities, aka what y'all humans call God or the biggest space possible or um expand infinite expansion and contraction infinite growth whatever the fuck you want to call it see that's my way of explaining it with my mercury head ass i don't even like giving it a, i know it don't got a fucking name you feel me so i'm just gonna describe it for y'all i don't even like to give it a specific fucking name or term but if i could accurately if the if i had to pick one the most accurate and simple shit i could say to describe that so that anybody can understand it from down to a fucking child is all possibilities shout out Dolo the fucking pilot man um shout out subconscious community and shout out soul group um all possibilities they can't get no you can't get no more simple and direct and clear than that that has no baggage no 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 uh no denomination energy denomination energy on it none of that shit because it's just no uh it's just is what it is it's all possibilities and that includes all the shit y'all lost into so that's a more accurate way to describe the word god and that all is an example on how i'm avoiding getting blood on my hands by being more aware of the shit i say and how it's taken see i see like if we were in a world or a reality that shit we were all on the same like frequency and vibration and we all understood where everybody was coming from without any gaslighting or or straw manning or or uh self projections if we lived in a world like that then i wouldn't we wouldn't have to worry about getting blood on our hands we wouldn't have to worry about being careful with the shit we say because we would already understand the truth beyond words but since we don't live in this world like that since we don't live in a world like that and this world is ran off manipulation and lies and tactics to keep people limited to keep their frequencies and their awareness boxed into some bullshit then we can't we can't just freely say whatever because these words come with that baggage you feel me it it, it, it is i i know i know i know uh i'm, I'm not sure if um see I, the shit i'm saying I, I only know a certain amount of people are going to be able to really keep up with it now as for everybody who else who, who can't keep up with what the fuck i'm saying and if they confused and lost look that's on y'all and that's why i said these interactions vary and depend on both spirits see as long as you speak in your truth whether it's received or understood or not don't worry you're not going to get blood on your hands 
if anything that spirit is going to ponder on it and figure out more later or life or spirit or 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 all possibilities will work through other vessels to get the point across for that spirit but at the meantime at the moment you you just be your truth and you speak your motherfucking truth um whether whether the other side receives it or not that's not really all on you anyway it's teamwork make the dream work so we all created this reality together in awesome co-creation type shit not no fucking one spirit dictator type shit no that's not how this shit works but um so the interactions vary and depend on on both spirits so as long as you are are speaking your truth in the clearest possible way you possibly can then um you good and you don't even have to worry about if people get lost or misunderstand because it's not on you now here's the thing though here's the thing though you are not supposed to be out here pushing that shit though you feel me because even if it is the truth i'm not out here preaching to motherfucking lost religious people or whatever i'm not going to churches and doing this i'm not even going to fucking colleges and universities preaching to atheists and shit and they probably looking for debates and shit but i'm not going out see now you can now i'm not saying you, you i'm not saying that you uh shouldn't be out here trying to spread awareness but i'm also saying to not force it so i'm not uh, unless spirit tell me to do something i'm not gonna do it and spirit wa don't want me or any other big spirit out here to like force shit you feel me because it won't work anyway that's that's that would be me getting blood on my hands see if i was to take this beyond this youtube video and i was to go outside and, and go and go on a big ass campaign and try and go to each church and try to force it on them and they don't want the energy and they don't want that awareness they don't want that energy even if it is the truth and it's trying to help them get out of their fucking you know limited masonic purgatory hell that they're in even though um that even though you're trying to break them out of the matrix if they don't want to be broken out of that's kind of getting blood on your hands in a way and you and you and you're wasting time too because you should be taking that energy to others who are open to that shit so keep keep that in mind too you don't want to be forcing this info on people unless unless they ask for it you feel me then you go ahead and go about it in a, in a certain way without getting too much blood on your hands um now as for them on the other side they get in the most blood on their hands because that's all they fucking do they're they're like hypocrites too they don't even follow their own they don't even interpret and follow their own shit correctly because why because they're literally getting blood on their hands right now that's why you have religious people and preachers and and motherfuckers trying to force their shit on everybody else because they're getting blood on their hands they don't they don't understand the esoteric concept behind these things so we can't be like that you feel me we got to lead by example uh in the real spiritual way um let them get blood on their hands you know let the dead bury the dead as as Yuriel would say you feel me uh so yeah one of the best okay hold on no i already went over that um damn i feel like there was something i'm missing um hold on let me hit this shit now it's the same for atheists and and and, and people who lean too much into the left brain of things too like i said atheist atheism is religious too so the more you want to like i said those who promote the limited lost ways of this world have have the most blood on their hands so whenever you push and promote whatever it could now see on if you are an atheist and you out here preaching and promoting that athe atheism is the truth and that there's and that only the zero dimension exists when you die which is stupid as fuck really and <laughs> limiting and dumb as fuck that's so dumb it's not even funny but <clears throat> if you out here pre preaching that um atheism is is the only thing in existence and that there's no such thing as all possibilities and shit which is retarded because you're literally <laughs> you're literally in it right now <laughs> y'all swear atheists i'm telling y'all atheists are the they're the dumbest ones oh i swear they're the dumbest ones <laughs> but um yeah nah if you're like an atheist and you out here preaching about atheists and shit you too are getting blood on your hands and you're and you're pretty much trying to limit and contract other spirits to the point where they're they going to be in the zero dimension with you or they're gonna fucking uh reincarnate and, and as a, a fucking bot or whatever the fuck but yeah it, it, it doesn't matter what it is like if the concept or philosophy or religion or or the or uh, uh 
or the science behind whatever it is you're speaking of if it doesn't come from a broad enough perspective and it's too specific and, and too dogmatic off rip you're getting blood on your hands and that's really just the gist of it now those who now i said those who promote the limited lost ways of this world have the most blood on their hands but also those who created and shaped this world have even more blood on their hands this is the shadow government since we live in a lost ass manipulated ass world the shadow government they think that they're doing what's right from an esoteric pers spiritual perspective and all and to a certain degree they don't even have the full f blame for this because teamwork make the dream work and the sheep are helping them you feel me like the shadow government has no pr power once the sheep wake up and realize they don't have to participate so it's not just on the shadow government you gotta blame the people too but um yeah the the, the sheep and the in the the sheep and the shadow now the shadow government though since they're aware of what's going on they have the most blood on their hands because this whole world is like their hand like we're in the palm of their fucking hands you could imagine earth in the palm of their hands and a lot of blood dripping from it and um, and think of the blood as all the all the shit that they pushed on humans to keep us limited they have the most blood on 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 their hands for real and and like y'all may think that this world is like unfair and that oh why do why do the why do selfish evil spirits get to and reap and enjoy the most out of this world and the physical look that's all temporary and even while they even 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 when they reincarnate even when the the inner circle of the shadow government reincarnate back into their old forms to continue ruin, running the world and shit the motherfuckers are still in a hellistic hellistic state of being right now as we speak so even if they maintain to continue running the world the world only reflects this our inner world the external world reflects our inner world and since the people that created and run the world have such a ugly holistic world how the fuck you think they feel inside or think inside they they just as lost as as the sheep so it's like the blind leading the blind at this point like we're really into some crazy ass matrix but of confusion though this is like babylon the and that's the true esoteric meaning behind babylon see y'all don't understand the bible is talking about now it's talking about modern times it's talk all the shit that happened in the in the bible never happened that was all allegory that was all in a jew's mind but it's also talking about it's just talking about us it ain't talking about the people back then it's talking about us back then and now it's talking about us period no matter what the fuck time so that's where y'all religious people get it fucked up y'all gotta learn the esoteric meaning behind these things it's talking about traits and things within us so since our inner world is fucked up of course the external world is going to be fucked up because all y'all humans are lost as fuck and so since y'all humans are lost as fuck we have a lost ass world and it really don't go no further than that It really don't go no further than that. Shout out to the 0.1%, the aware. I hope that percentage is higher now as we as humans evolve and grow, though. I hope that that's inaccurate. I'm talking about the 0.1%. That's 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 people like that like me and whoever watching this that understands. And shout out subconscious community and soul group and shit. Uh I'm not even talking about the not the one percent. The one percent is just the political term for the elites. Psh, they ain't even on our level. We're the, we're more rare than them. We're the zero point one percent because we got our shit together spiritually. They still don't. So and they got the most blood on their hands. So think about that. The 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 spirits here who have the most blood on their hands, and they run and control and, and the world how it is they they, they kind of um they they got a fucked up inner world because the external reflects that and it's not just them like i said it's the sheep too because we allow it to be like that and once upon a time they even tried to help the sheep but the sheep was just too stupid to to 
to learn and keep up so they just said fuck it it's a dog eat dog world and everybody's gonna have to just fend for themselves to us to a certain degree it's more complicated than that i don't want to get too much blood on my hands on that that that's a whole other topic but yeah so we're so this world has blood on blood on its hands by default and we're in a lost ass world so it's very easy it's very easy to get blood on your hands because you want to like i said look if you are gonna speak your opinion do it in a way where it's not forcing it on anybody do it in a way where um you are aware of of words and be and you're and you go beyond what the words mean you are also aware of where other people's awarenesses are do it in a way do it in a way where you could try to make shit as clear and as simple as possible for everybody to understand um do it in a way where you know that's pretty much what it is you got it that's the best way to not get blood on your hands keep it clean and pure and simple the more complex the more details the more specifications the more dirty the more blood on your hands um but if you can make shit as simple as you possibly can and direct and straight to the point and clear you are being used as a vessel by all possibilities or what y'all humans call god to spread awareness in the right way or let me not even say the right way because that's getting blood on my hands the more limitless way the wrong way would be the wrong way would be the limited way um using uh details and 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 uh and uh man-made um definitions and terms that are dirty and not as clear as other ways of going about it you feel me and if you don't and if now remember keep in mind you don't even have to express yourself if you feel like you don't have the awareness to speak on something you don't know like i said earlier one of the best and easiest ways to not get blood on your hands that anybody can do is to not assume or speak on anything that you do not fully know and that's it that's the best way to avoid getting blood on your hands if but if you if you fully become aware of something and you enlighten yourself on something then you can go ahead and 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 speak on it you you can't all right i'll give you a 3d example who are you gonna who are you gonna uh trust more are you gonna trust somebody who is a expert at cars to fix your car or are you gonna trust somebody who just got into cars and is learning a little bit but they don't fully know about cars yet to fix your car you see what i'm saying that's a 3d example of pretty much what the fuck i'm saying now the, the the mechanic that don't know as much and he just became a mechanic they can they them getting blood on them on their hands in a 3d example way would be them accidentally fucking up your car and now they owe you you feel me <clears throat> and your car look at your car as your spirit and now your, your spirit is in a bad condition that's like a little alle a 3d allegory for y'all to look at now the mechanic who knows what the fuck they talking about they not that's not going to happen they're not going to get blood on their hands your car is going to be perfectly fine it's going to run um and that's that's i'm gonna end it like that i think that's the best way i can explain that shit in the most simple way possible oh yeah there's one more thing i do want to bring up the spiritual concept of karma keeps track of all the energies we output hence why you get what you put out so the more blood on you so the more blood on your so the more blood you uh uh accumulate on your hands the more confusion and lostness you push out the more you self project your own lostness and confusion and other spirits can see that and um that's gonna also play out in a cause and effect karmic way of you limiting your own spirit because you're projecting limited shit so karma keeps track of all the energies we output hence you get what you put out so if you out here trying to limit other spirits guess what you're going to get back a limited mentality a limited vibration a limited out outlook on life a, a, a limited awareness a limited lifestyle all that shit and you and guess what you all do it to yourself that's how that's how the that's how the spiritual co concept of karma works in this concept in this context that i'm speaking about right now and i think i'm gonna end it like that so don't get blood on your hands it's not good it's not good for you you're you're you're, you're kind of fucking yourself at the end anyway by doing that so yeah just be very careful and like i said if you don't if you don't 
If you don't know something, if you don't, if you if you're afraid of getting blood on your hands, just shut the fuck up about it. Now I'm not saying to always stay docile and never speak your opinion and be your individual self. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is, if you haven't found enough of yourself yet to fully express yourself confidently without getting blood on your hands, then yeah, develop yourself more. Once you once over time you come to a certain awareness and you feel good about it. And you and, and you and, and you and spirit have that 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 interaction between y'all where spirit gives you the go ahead to 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 express yourself more because it can trust you to not get blood on your hands. Then you go ahead and do that, like I'm doing right now, or any other person doing, uh, uh, like any spiritual teacher on YouTube doing right now. So that that's 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 really it, like. And it's gonna take teamwork, make the dream work until everybody on this type of time. Because once we change the the, the conversation and we make this the common common topic or the co common conversation amongst humans, that's when everything's gonna change. There's gonna be too much common sense flowing around, and then we're all just gonna motherfucking change this motherfucking shit and be on the same accord, the same frequency, the same vibration, or no matter what the fuck words, we're just gonna we're just gonna be on. Humans gotta get to that point. So. But if you don't, but don't, don't limit humans from getting to that point. If you don't know shit fully yourself, if work on your awareness more, learn some more. If you need to grow your frequencies, experience more and feel more. If you need to grow your vibrations, react to more shit in life, learn through spirit and all possibilities and all this shit and, and whatever. And then once you get to a certain, certain awareness where you, where spirit gives you the go ahead to 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 speak and, and and express more of yourself without getting blood on your hands you can go ahead and be a vessel and then you can you can speak on shit like how i be speaking on shit and how other spiritual youtuber uh how other spiritual uh teachers be speaking and shit so yeah that's it okay so i just realized i'm gonna title this the i'm gonna title this video um the esoteric meaning behind getting blood on your hands part one the frequency perspective because I, I just realized I didn't even speak on it from like certain vibrational aspects and perspectives. So I'm gonna make a part two and I'm gonna speak on it in, in, more, in different ways because this one was more about like the frequencies of it and not, and not getting blood on your hands like through information, spreading misinformation and shit like that. Next time on the part two, I'm gonna talk about it in the ways of like the vibrations and who you connect with and, and, who, and who you choose to give energy to and shit. So yeah.